Hey everyone, so welcome to my channel. Uh, my name is Maha and these are my button quails. Sweetie, she is the only female right now. She is um, pure white. Jack, which is her mate or her boyfriend, her husband, whatever you want to call it, her button quail lover. But yeah, his name is Jack and then the other one, this is Speckles. And he's also a male, but he's like mateless, I guess. And um, I'm basically going to be showing you guys how I set up my tank. And as you can see, um, there's a big difference because I had them in a 10-gallon tank and now I have them in a 40-gallon tank. So this is basically just going to be like my cage tour, my cage setup. So as you can see here, I have some pine shavings. They are natural pine shavings. I never use cedar because it like in it's um it bugs the quails and also pine also does have some um sorry she's like crowing out to her husband so if you hear her like crowing in the background it's because she misses him and i feel so bad she's doing it right now oh anyway so by the way i have literally like 20 million birds in my room so if you hear chirping like right now those are my love birds just ignore it we're just gonna have to deal with it right now anyway so basically i'm just gonna go right into the cage setup slash cage tour so i basically started off with some pine shavings anyway so i put them in my old 10 gallon tank and i just ruffled it around just to get all the dust like out and i let it set for a couple of hours so I just like let it set and I moved it around so all the dust can kind of like get out because it's the dust that what that is um what bothers like their respiratory system so basically I just ruffled it around and I put the shavings first and then I basically took a bunch of plants and I put them in and I also have this like tree stump right here just so they can like climb on it and they really seem to like it so I just put the tree stump in, put a lot of fake um, plants, like I did tall plants, short plants, and I put them all over the place just so they can have like places to go in and out and stuff like that. And I felt really bad when I had them in the 10 gallon tank because like 10 gallons is really, really small. So it was just like, it was really hard for me to see them, all three of them cooped up in that 10 gallon tank. So I'm just like, okay, you know what, I'm just going to like go big or go home. So I got them a 40 gallon. And I have this screen lid here, um, which helps them to not like boing, boing, boing up, which is like when they shoot straight up because they're scared. And it's really interesting because in the 10 gallon tank, they would always used to do that. And I think it was because there wasn't enough like hiding places. Like for them, they, I think they feel safer in this tank because there's just more hiding places. So, um, cause in this tank they've never boinged, like not even once. And it was just, it really surprised me. And I also got, um, these food dishes that I got. I have three dishes. I have one dish for water and I just put marbles in there because, um, it helps them supposedly, it helps them to drink more and it also helps them to, when they step on it, to not step all the way inside so they don't get their feathers wet on their their thighs and their like lower body because that can like cause issues because if they're wet then they can get sick so basically I put marble not really marbles I put those rocks in their water and I put the water on the side and they have another bowl for their food they have their food which is some um, game bird crumble mixed in with some parakeet seed mix and um, they need that so that's in a separate bowl and then their last bowl is this kind of like log bowl which basically has their grit it has um, some like treats it has uh, there's a treat mix which is chopped carrots pie, chopped pineapple and I think there's some peanuts in there but very little peanuts and I also that's where they I put their mealworms so I just get like live crickets and I like throw that in there like three crickets a week and they just go out and they chase the crickets. They love it so much. So after I do that, I just put in all the rocks for the um, to make sure they don't kick up the bedding. Because that was a main problem I had in my 10-gallon tank is they used to kick up the bedding in the water and in the food every single day. And now I notice that they don't kick up the bedding that much. So it's actually like such a smart and easy thing to do. And it looks really nice. Like, if you look at it in the tank, it looks nice how, like, the rocks, it kind of reminds me of, like, the ocean because the rocks are, like, 
blue, green, white, and um, some dark, yeah, there's blue, green, and there's white rocks. So it kind of reminded me of the ocean. So I was like, oh, this is really nice. So that's what I did there. So then after the rocks, I put all the bowls in and I put them in and they seem to absolutely love it. And I always recommend a tank instead of a cage because obviously the wire isn't good for their feet because they're ground dwellers. So they're literally going to be on the ground all the time. So wire is never good for their feet because like that would be really uncomfortable. Imagine you like stepping on wire every single day. Like that would really be uncomfortable and that would like really hurt your feet. So, um... I never use wire and I always and a tank is always good because sometimes they like to kick up their bedding and if you have wire like a wire regular bird cage and they like to kick up the bedding out of the bird cage and it's just a hassle and an absolute pain to deal with so that's why I always recommend a tank and plus the tank like you can have you have full access to them so you see exactly what they're doing at all times because it's glass so you see exactly what they're doing and there's many different sizes of tanks which is really good it's the best thing ever because they're super happy in it they absolutely love it they love like the little trees and everything they love they just love everything they love like burying their little heads in the in the pine shavings they love everything and i love it too because if they're happy i'm very happy so that is it for my video. Next time I'm going to do a video about um, button quail care. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see everyone in another video. I know I have so many birds. Trust me, I'm going to do a video on my lovebirds. Because I literally have 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 lovebirds in my room in like three different cages. And 10 of the lovebirds are babies that I'm going to be selling. So I'm going to also do a video on them, and they're so cute, you guys, you guys will fall in love, fall in love, okay, I promise you. So anyway, like, comment, and subscribe, that's so cliche, I feel everyone says that, subscribe if you want to, but you really should, because you're going to see cute birds, so yeah, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys later, bye.